symbols in Illustrator can be used for a whole lot of different things. And one tool that makes working with symbols kind of fun is the symbol sprayer tool along with its symbol manipulation tools. It's available in the toolbar. Right here you have a spray can, which is the symbol sprayer tool. To use this, you need to see your, all your symbols here. So if you haven't got your symbols panel, I'm just popping it out here so you can see it more clearly. If you haven't got that in the sidebar, you can always go up to the window menu and then come down to symbols and you can open that up. I'm going to pull up some other other examples here, other symbols. Let's see, let's do let's do some nature ones here. So that's going to open up in a separate window. And I'm going to spray something on here. So let's go ahead and do a couple of leaves here. I want to do some leaves on the ground. So you can see if I just drag out here, I get a number of symbols. And if I hold still, I'm going to spray a lot of symbols in one place. And so all of these, all we do here is just placing out symbols very quickly, if I might say so, on the page. Instead of just dragging in one by one, I can spray it on here. So that's one part. That's the symbol sprayer tool. The next step, you have all these manipulation tools for the symbol sprayer tool. So once you have a number of symbols on here, you can go ahead and use similar automatic tool to shift them, scrunch them, size them, spin them, stain them with different colors, screen them, changing the opacity as well as style them, applying different styles. So we can start off here by, by trying out this symbol shifter tool. So we need to change, set, select the set here of symbols. And I'm just going to go and get rid of this one. But, I'm, but here's a set of symbols that I'm going to have selected. And then we can just move these around with this one. As soon as if I click here, hold, and I can drag to move this, these symbols to the side. With the scruncher tool, I'm going to just shrink them down. So scrunching tool shrinks them, of course, and then the size tool will, in this case, enlarge in here. So we now get some larger ones here. And because all of these is vector, it doesn't affect the overall quality, so it's going to be the same quality no matter if it's really huge or really, really small. So you can spin them around, which is really cool when you have things like these, these leaves here. That will definitely look different when you spin them around. It'll create some, some interesting effects here when we do. Finally, you can, of course, use the stain tool, changing the paint, but I like changing the opacity sometimes here. So I paint. if I paint a lot over some, uh, it's going to change the opacity and make it almost transparent. But here we can create some interesting artwork just by spraying symbols, basically, and use these manipulation tools to manipulate this around.